Hello, welcome to Brimwood Farm and to Monday Magic, which is my weekly show, trying to find a little bit of positivity from Mother Nature. And today, we're really heading into that autumn cold feeling. It's blue skies outside, but there is a nip in the air. And so, of course, it's time now for me to do some cleaning and shut down for winter. So I am out in my little uh, lean-to conservatory and I'm having a big clean out today because stuff that's outside, so things like the banana, um, the ensete, um, and the uh, tree fern and a couple of the palms need to come in and I normally bring them into the conservatory rather than the greenhouse because if I put them in the greenhouse down the bottom of the garden I forget about them and then they dry out. So some plants can be allowed to dry out through the winter um, but some need to be kept moist so I prefer to keep them in here and I can keep an eye on them uh, and know what's going on. Now the lean-to is a difficult place because it is just got one of these old roofs you can see it's been patched up. There is a hole there. This is where my cat that um, unfortunately died last year jumped out of the bedroom window uh, and almost came straight through. It really needs to be replaced. So it doesn't keep any heat. So it, it's basically one of those traditional uh, lean-tos in Britain where it gets really, really hot in the summer and really cold in the winter. And the cold isn't so bad because it, it puts the plants to bed, but it leaks. It's not even that transparent anymore. Um, and there's so many holes that we get tons of spiders in here and cobwebs are an issue. Now, of course, I've got my kiwi vine. So I bought that earlier this year and uh, it's done really well. So I've started to kind of curl it around the, uh, the walls. There's another piece here that I need to kind of curl back on itself. Um, but hopefully, obviously the, the bottom leaves down here have started to die off, but we've still got nice, fresh little leaves at the top. And we'll get the, uh, going round and round. Down here we've just got a couple of mother-in-law's tongue. This was a massive plant that I split, and it's come on really, really well. It likes the, sort of the dry heat in here, and I keep it well watered. You can see here again, look, all this paint is crusting away. Um, I've been cutting back the pelagoniums, so these are often known as ger ger geraniums, but they're not. They're actually pelagoniums. Uh, they survive all year round in here, but they get very leggy. So these ones I haven't cut, but you can see here, I have started to cut them back. So I've just cut them right back to the stalk, so you can really cut them right down to here. This is a lovely little a scented pelagonium. It's um, Great Lady Pym Plymouth. It has a lovely scent to the leaves and little uh, red flowers. And I've actually got some cuttings down here. And these have taken really, really well, so they need to be potted up individually. But basically this time of year, this, this plant was up here and I've just snipped it right back just to keep it in shape. Um, and then down here, I've just got a, I've got a hibiscus. A lovely little red hibiscus now in uh, the UK. These hibiscus need to be kept indoors. Um, so I've got a, a red one here and I've got a pink one over here. I've got some beautiful lantana. This is normally where my banana plant sits throughout the winter. Um, these are begonias. So I actually forgot about some tubers and I did do a video, I think it was on small holding diaries and I completely forgot about these tubers. But considering they only got put in in July maybe, they've done all right and they've come up. Um, they often, these double-headed ones, they often start with a double-headed flower and then as the season progresses, the blooms go back, kind of they revert back to a single. But I, I quite like them, I think they're pretty. Um, I am going to get some more variegated foliage ones though because these ones are often obviously just a green, but you can get some stunning varieties um, sort of variegated, really dark purple foliage with, um, you know, lineated uh, stripes through it, some lime green ones, really, really pretty. So I want to get some more of those and I want to actually, I'm um, making a bit of a tropical bathroom feel and these are great indoor plants so I will be putting some begonias into the bathroom um, as well, up walls and hanging in baskets and things. There's some apple mint cuttings that I've taken. Uh, there's a couple of money plant cuttings I've taken. There's random bits of carpet. These are the leftover zinnias. 
So, as you know, I forgot to put my zinnias outside this year, and they got left in pots. Now, they've been great in here. The only issue has been, um, again, with the conservatory, because it gets so dusty, it has also harbours lots and lots of... This one's going over, see? Lots and lots of aphids and things. So we've had aphid and white fly issues. Next year, of course, the zinnias are going to be started in here, and then they're going to be planted in this bed, which is going to be a full, cut, full, full sun cutting flower bed. Um, but for today, so I'm mostly just clearing. So the leaves are all here from this budgie. She's in massive molt at the moment, so she's molting everything straight down here. We obviously have a little mouse trap down here as well because we do get mice coming in quite a bit. But for the most part, we're just having a clear out today, um, sorting plants out, kind of having a tidy, watering stuff. The, these tubers will obviously they'll completely die this winter, so they'll get dug up and dried out. The hibiscus will stay as they are. The um, the pelagoniums will stay as they are. Um, they will still flower even through the middle of winter. Again, the same with the lantana and things like that. So I won't lie, despite the beautiful blue sky and the nip in the air, which is quite nice, it's been a struggle to get going today. So I've really had to sort of dig deep to find some motivation. Um, and I started having a little bit of a clean out in here. And then I realised, yeah, actually, there is some Monday magic in just kind of cleaning, refreshing stuff and preparing, wh whatever season you're going to, preparing what's to come. So here we're going into winter and I'm just taking a few moments to kind of look after the plants, water them, prepare them for the, uh, the colder months ahead. So it's given me a bit of perspective and it's giving me a bit of a lift on, you know, I've achieved something today, which is a good thing as well. So that has been my Monday magic, just getting out into the lean-to, having clear up, tidying, cleaning, pottering around with the plants and just making sure everything's all right. I hope you are having a great day too and managing to find some inspiration from Mother Nature, whether you're inside or you're out. If you've liked the video, as always, please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future updates. If you're on Facebook, head over there, go to Brimwood Farms Community Group and come and join us and I will see you again very soon. Bye.